वेलकम टू इपिजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर मृन्मय प्रामाणिक आई टीच कम्पेटिव इंडियन लैंगुएज एंड लिटरेचर एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलकाटा टुडे विल डिस्कस अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम कम्पेटिव लिटरेचर ड्रामा इन इंडिया एंड द मॉड्यूल इज ऑन हबीब तनवीर चरण दस चोर एंड दक्षिण वजरांगी चेहराज बुधन बोलता है द कॉन्टेंट of this module is written by abu saleh university of hyderabad this module introduces you to one of the major theater directors of india mr habib tanbir and also his iconic play charandas chor further it also talks about a bright young theater activist mr दक्षिण बजरंगी चेहरा एंड हिज प्ले बुधन बोलता है फर्स्ट यू विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू द लाइफ करियर एंड अदर वर्क ऑफ हबीब तनबीर एंड ऑल्सो दक्षिण बजरंगी लेटर ऑन इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द प्लेज एंड क्रिटिकली एनालाइज एलोंग विथ सम अदर फैक्ट्स अबाउट द प्लेज about habib tanbir habib tanbir was born on 1st september 1923 in raipur chatisgarh in colonial india as habib ahmed khan he was called baba at home he used to write poetry with the pseudonym tanbir later he dropped the name ahmed khan and just called himself as habib tanvir his father hafiz ahmed khan was from peshawar and mother from raipur his maternal uncles were interested in music and poetry whereas his paternal family was very religious in nature tanvir completed his early education from raipur and later went to aligarh Muslim University later he went to Bombay to become an actor to survive he took up various jobs like he worked in Bombay All India Radio and also editor of a magazine called Box Office his elder brother used to take part in amateur plays and perform women's role in his childhood once a year there used to be performances in nearby Kalibari and he used to go to see these plays it used to be in urdu and were organized by the parsi theater companies of that time for the first time habib performed on stage when he was 11 or 12 years old he did a role of arthur from shakespeare's play king john later he also acted in a big play written by his persian teacher mohammad isaq further he acted in another play about a young shoe shine boy he received local awards for his performances the award used to be named as thakur parilal award during his stay in bombay he got associated with the all india red all india progressive writers association or aipwa and india's people's theater association or ipta later in 1955 he went on a scholarship to england at the royal academy of dramatic arts or rada to study theater and later shifted to the bristol old victoria theater school However he was greatly influenced by the folk theater tradition and the German dramatist Bertolt Brecht Tanvir returned to India and in 1959 found Naya Theater with his wife Monica Mishra He has staged European to Indian classics with the tinge of local folk elements He has staged many plays with the local folk artist tanbir passed away leaving the legacy of folk theater behind on 
8th June 2009. Works of Tanbir. Tanbir is known to for using Chhattisgarhi folk artist and music. Agra Bazar 1954 is one of his famous plays which was on the works and times of Wali Muhammad, pseudonym of Nazir Akbarwadi, 1735-1830. A significant Urdu poet who introduced the genre Nazm. Further, he directed um, many plays uh, like Shatranj Ke Mohare, 1954, Lala Shoharat Rai, 1954, Mitti Ki Gadi, 1958, Gaon Ke Naon Sasural, More Naon Damad, 1973, Charandas Chor, 1975, Uttar Ram Charitra, 1977, Bahadur Kalarin, 1978, uh, Ponga Pandit, 1960s and Ek Aurat Hai Patiya Vithi 1980s Jisne Lahore Nahi Dekha 1990 and Kamdev Ka Apna Basant Ritu Ka Sapna 1993 The Broken Bridge 1995 and uh, Zahiril Hawa 2002 Raj Rakt 2006 and so on. In uh, most of the plays he is drawn towards local dialects and did experiment with the folk artists. Style of Habib Tanbir As mentioned earlier, Tanbir was interested in local dialects and used to experiment with his folk artist. He is mostly known for using Chhattisgarhi folk artist and music. He has staged European to Indian classics by adding various local folk elements into them. About Dakshin Bajrangi Chahra. Dakshin Bajrangi Chahra was born in the Chahra community which is considered as a criminal tribe. He has four brothers and his father named all of them based on the directions of compass of for example Dakshin means south in hope that they will travel far. Bajrangi's brother Uttar or North is indeed pursuing engineering in an American university, an achievement for the Chahra community. However, Bajrangi did not do well in English medium school and thus shifted to Gujarati medium school. There he began to perform well and completed his BA in psychology. He had passion for Bollywood movies and wanted to enter in the film industry. His love for movies began in childhood and he used to spend his hard-earned pocket money watching movies in local video stores. Later, he and his friends began to experiment with films. As he says, I quote, We did not know what the hell we are doing, but we would just photograph ourselves doing dramatic things. Unquote. After his studies, he began advertising business. It is his first experience as a playwright and actor in the, in the Budhan that helped him uh, in, in getting a job at Tara Cable Channel run by Mallika Saravai, a well-known dancer and social activist. There, he began to make documentary films on diverse social issues. His skills developed during his work at the Tara channel. Dakshin has many accolades to his name including awards for documentary filmmaking and a fellowship to undertake a project at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom. He received the Mahatma Gandhi Bi-Yearly National Award for Creative Writing in Hindi from the Commission of Human Rights for his autobiography and collection of plays Budhan Bolta Hai in August 2014. Dakshin's film Sundarana was selected for screening at the 2015 Taiwan International and Ethnographic Film Festival in 2015. Furthermore, Dakshin recently completed shooting a Hindi movie called Dhushar. Budhan Theatre 
Budan Theatre is run and managed by Dakshin Bajrangi Chara with the assistance of Roxy Gagdekar Chara. They belong to the uh, Chara Nagar community. The theatre was first initiated with the help of personalities like Dr. G. N. Devi, a literary critic, linguist, and tribal activist, and Srimati Mahasheta Devi, writer and activist. The theatre group also runs a small library for the children of the community. The name of the theatre is given in the memory and honour of the denotified tribe member Budhan, who hails from the state of Bengal. Mahasheta Devi fought for the justice for Budhan Shavar. The theatre fights all over India for social justice and inclusion, acceptance and equal human rights for the denotified and nomadic tribes. Now let us talk about background of the play. First let us focus on Charandas Chor by Habib Tanbir. The play has a long and interesting beginning and long evolved process of experimentation and improvisation about two years before it reached to its final stage of maturity and perfection. Initially, Tanbir heard the story in 1973 and it received the final ship in 1975. The story is narrated to him by Vijay Dandeta, folklorist from Rajasthan, who recorded it from the oral tradition. Tanbir later tried to use the story in a Khayal workshop in Rajasthan, but it did not go well. Later, he held a workshop with Nacha groups in Bhilai. At the end of the workshop, he asked his performers to improvise it. The story began to take a form and Tanvir then presented his improvisation act in front of the, the Satnamis in an open air in the Bilai Maidan. He incorporated a number of Panthi songs. This became the first performance of the play. It was for about 50 minutes and he titled it as Chor Chor. After receiving an encouraging response from its first performance, Tanvir later began to polish it. He further worked with the artists and improvised it. He added new scenes and modified the ending of the story. Setting of the play Charandas Chor The setting of the play is simple and initially there was no stage as such. Uh, its simple barge stage, uh, stage design was arrived at after a number of experiments during which several things were tired out. All that is required is a stage and mounted on that stage a rectangular platform which around 12 feet long, 9 feet high and 6 feet wide. There are just foliage or a leafy branch of a tree behind it. The spaces created by this austera architectural design are used in different ways throughout the production. For the opening scene between the policeman and the thief, only the fourth stage is used. But in the uh, Guru Dakshina scene, the entire stage comes into use with Guru and some of his followers sitting on the platform and the rest scattered all over the stage. It is the same in the net scene where uh, the landlord and his storage of food grains are on the platform but the peasants, Charandash and finally the Rawat dancers use the uh, use the four stage. Stage props are kept to the minimum only objects which are actually used in the action such as the treasure chest or the idol or the sacks of rice and no elaborate lighting is required. During the early scenes the stage is quite flexible and informal but after the first half of the play if suddenly takes on a formal and sharply defined quality in order to present the royal treasury, the queen's court and her 
bed chamber. The grouping is also significantly more formal in this last sense. Now let us talk about Budhan Bolta Hai by Dakshin Bajrang Chara. The theatre's plays of Budhan are created in a democratic manner. All the members of the theatre come together and decide upon an issue after conducting surveys within the communities like Chara and other denotified or marginalized communities. After then, based on the issues, the members create a plot and decide the roles and then the play is ready for the rehearsals. The performers create dialogues according to the role and come up with the script and scenes. The draft of the script is revised and gets edited when the actors rehearse. The performance and effects varies with the change in the space and settings. For example, when a play is performed in front of a police station, makes the play more tragic, reflects the atrocities of police on the community. Budhan's plays are street plays and thus they travel and perform here and there. They also perform in the places like in front of the police station in order to make them ashamed of their behavior, particularly with the denotified tribes. At times, their plays were interrupted or forcibly stopped in between or banned from performing by the police. The same play, when performed in front of the common masses, reflects the innocence and the conditions of the victimized tribes as non-criminal. So the gravity of the plays changes as per uh, their location of performance. Budan take great care and do not repeat their plays or avoid monotonous themes or uh, repetitive performances. However, they use less props and sources while performing short plays on the streets. The plot of the play, Charandas Chor. Charandas is the protagonist of the play who is a thief by profession. Thus, all the time, he is chased by a policeman. He steals gold plates, robs farmers, snatches jewelry from a wealthy merchant's wife, enters into a temple and steals, robs a queen of her five coins. On the other hand, he is also humanitarian. He never lies and he first steals and then returns the things. For example, after stealing Sattu from a poor farmer, he shouts, Are Sattu, only Sattu, oh Sattuwala, come here, come on back, don't be scared, sit down, let's share this like brothers. Similarly, he also robs rich merchant's wife and then returns the jewelry. Now the play Budhan Bolta Hai by Dakshin Bajrang Chara. On 10th February 1998, an Adivasi Budhan Shabar with his wife Shamali Sabar were going to their Mama Shashur's home, Bara Bazar. On the way, they stopped to have pan. Suddenly, police appeared and arrested Budhan. Next few days, he was beaten inhumanly. He died in the custody. Dakshin and other form the Budhan theatre have used the story and made it play, which talks against police oppression on the common people. Some characters of the play, Charandas Chor. Charandash, he is the protagonist of the play and a thief by profession. Havaldar, he is the one who is always after Charandash and Guru, he is the Guru of Charandash. There are many other characters Charandash have an encounter with they are as follows like wayfarer, uh, vegetable woman, drunkard, drug addict, gambler, landlord, tetku, rawat, dance leader, pujari, munim, cynics, dhyan, rani, dasi, purohit, twin cries, panthi dance leader, panthi drummer, panthi dancers and so on. Budhan Bolta Hai by Dakshin Bajrang Chara and the characters of that play Budhan Shabar, the protagonist of the play who died in jail after police operation, Shamoli Sabar, 
she is the wife of budhan there are various other characters like the police inspector and others in the play major themes in the play and one among the uh, themes are critiquing society charandas chor is a critical comment on the functioning of the society and law through the characters like queen munim the minister the havildar and the landlord the economic imbalance is highlighted and in a way a contrast between luxury and want and need affluent are another set of contraries who are self centric landlords who treasures wealth and on the other hand farmers starve and die due to famine the state seems to be responsible for this imbalance but it does not pay any attention to it thus there remains the increasing treasure of the landlords the queen who is the manager of the state and a holder of the dharma breaks the law she misuses the power for her own interest she likes the honesty of charandas chor and even falls for the man she is even ready to cross the borders of power however the queen gets the charandas killed in fear that her advances towards the chor may get revealed since she is queen fears for her honor charandas steals only 5 coins and the remaining 5 are stolen by the munim but the munim refuses to accept it however the truth gets revealed when guru tells the that charandas is his disciple and has taken a vow not to tell a lie thus he is not lying munim gets caught red handed and loses his job similarly the havildar also proposes to share booty as he says havildar all right listen beta there is been in this village a golden thali has been stolen have you done it if you have just tell me and i won't report it we'll share the booty all the characters in the play still but they are respected by the society on the other hand charandas who is a chor just takes a vow and remains attached to it the human characters cannot be revealed through their position or power but through their deeds thus charandas bring a chor is respected and famous even after his death others still for their own benefit whereas charandas does it for his villagers as like robin hood an uncultured trickster turned out to be an honest man and philanthropist truthful kind and so on it is significant to note here that munim also steals but he goes unpunished whereas charandas gets punished the other example of such human cruelty is the landlord who does not like to spare even a kilo of rice to peasant whose children are dying of starvation peasant ram ram malik landlord ram ram come sit closer sit on my head bloody fool sit down there on the floor can't you my gaddi is all ruined peasant forgive me malik i made a mistake landlord mistake nonsense you don't know your place peasant i come to see you malik landlord what for peasant my children have not eaten for 3 days malik they are half dead of starvation if you could spare a kilo or so of rice it would save them malik there are various such examples one can find throughout the play tanvir presents a serious subject in an amusing and humorous manner using irony and paradox the play represents the conflict disorderly and paradoxical nature of the society for the songs in the play are also significant part of it as they also reflect and comment on the societal conditions it is important to note in what context songs are written and what they are talking about the songs foretell an event sum it up and and comment on it towards the end of the play a group of panthi singers prepare the readers 
for Charandas impending doom as O oh Charandas. Don't try to rob death of his due. Your name and fame will be taken from you. Further, at the end of the play, once again the Satnam is come and seeing where the Charandash has died. The song hails the character and the vow Charandas took in front of his guru and he followed it. Charandas is dead now but his name is still alive. They sing. I quote, The truth is divine. Divine is the truth. Nothing compares. So saith our guru with the sacred, the holy, the power of truth. I unquote. Budhan bolta hai. Henry's keywords describe the Budhan theater as strategically interventionist. When they perform in front of police station or bulldozers ready to demolish slams. So theater here is a weapon. The work focuses on the cultural productions like theatrical plays and documentaries by the Chara activist, actors who continue to fight against discriminations through their act. For them, theater is a radical cultural movement for liberating the ex-criminal tribes from the stigma of their past to provoke popular social change. Now, uh, let us summarize our whole discussion. So, in this module, we have discussed about Habib Tanbir and Dakshin Bajrang Chara. We came to know about their personal lives. We also learnt about Habib and Dakshin's works and their style. Further, we have discussed the play Charandas Chor and also Budhan Bolta Hai. We came to know about the backgrounds and settings of the plays. We have also discussed the plots and summaries of the play. Then, we have also discussed the characters of both the plays. After then, we have focused on various themes and relevant issues discussed in the plays. Hope uh, this discussion is useful for you. For further reading, you can see the further reading list. And to know more about this content, you can consult the e-text. And there is a self-assessment question questions for your self-assessment. Thank you.